okay welcome to the second part of my pattern color pattern tutorial in this case I'm, I will be changing all of the rectangles to circle so let me just run this one to remind you how it looks like that's how it looks like but now all of the rectangles sorry will be converted to circles so to achieve that you can have a good look at the codes but before I change the rectangles highlighted over there to circles take a good look at it so that's the rectangle right there so I will now go to edit replace paste it right in there and change it all to circles so click on replace all there but we still we will still run into some serious problem because all of these following arguments has to be changed so the first argument here that's okay but this other arguments they all has to be changed but then just before then let me move this around so that it doesn't look that similar to the previous uh, tutorial let's paste them anyhow just uh, so that uh, the color pattern will not be similar to the previous tutorial okay now I will start by changing the argument the first argument here that I'll change is I will leave this one two then here I will enter the square bracket the square bracket right there define the close that close the square bracket then uh, the size in this case if I say 100 I don't know how big 100 might be I might end up changing it anyway and that is it so I have the width and the I have, in fact I have the coordinate in there sorry those are the coordinate okay the X and Y axis and right here I have the size okay that will remain 100 but if I copy this across I can just copy this across copy and paste it right in here there I will change this one to 150 repeat exactly the same thing here and if you guess 250 that is correct and the next one will be 350 this has to go sorry so you have to be careful about that that's 350 right here and this will be 450 and let's change that to 4 and right here we have 5 that will be 550 ok if you maybe I should just run this once I can comment all of these out well I've commented everything out yeah that's how you comment so just before I run it I need to get rid of this double bracket I shouldn't have double there okay take that off right let's run it and see how it will look like okay I have an error somewhere there and right here what might be what might the problem be okay the error right here is as follows this has to go sorry about that just got rid of those okay now save it again yeah I suppose now I'm gonna end up with errors again let's take this off yeah. take this off as well that should have been yeah okay now that has to go so I have all the, the I have the right argument now I think yeah yeah okay now let's run it again alright there we go but uh, it seems to be too big 
looks like the what I want, but uh, it looks a bit too big. Maybe, yeah. On the other hand, it's a, it looks like a, a good pattern. Anyway, I mean, maybe I should leave it like that. Android, Android looks a bit alright. So, but supposing I change it to 50. If I change all of these to 50, then uh, we then decide either to use 100 size 100 or use size 50. Okay, now let's give it another shot. That's it, 50. Yeah, 50 is not looking too bad neither. Okay, that's how 50 looks. So maybe I should set it for 50 or 100. I don't know, but uh, let's just copy 50 and go go with 50. All right. So that's 50, guys. The next thing I do is just to repeat exactly the same thing that we uncomment this and uncomment here and just speed it up so then I get back to you guys. Okay, after all of the copy and paste, and this is how it all looks right now. That is it right there. The only other thing that I need adjusting will be the colors. You can see the similarity between the rectangle and the circle. So the only difference is this and the argument. So let me run it and show you guys how the final output looks there. That's how it looks. But uh, let's make it look a little bit more beautiful because of this. Uh, duplication of colors let's change it and right here I have all the colors set already there they are so I'm just gonna copy and just change it over and get back to you guys okay guys these are the final output loops I think it's beautiful and I like it so let me just show you guys the, the codes and uh, I'll call it a day for now here are the lines of codes used there I've already explained it but uh, what you need to do is import Pygame initialize it define all your colors right there and now that's your display there the caption the, that's the caption get rid of that circle color pattern right then uh, that's my boolean expression, I call it pattern that's for the, for the timer that is used to manage how fast the screen update right there then using while loop ok to quit the system and check if uh, using if statement to check if uh, the pattern is true and the pattern is my boolean like I said earlier on and from here downwards as using the function circle to draw all the circles that you guys saw earlier on and uh, the last part of it is just the flip look at the flip right there the whole purpose of the flip is to update the system okay. and here at 60 frames per second and quit and that's it that's all there is to it simple it's easy to put together it might be time consuming though but it's all right you will enjoy it so just run it one more time and there guys suppose you'll like it i'll just call it bye for now